I think the problem started when we got rid of chip pans. My mum used to say that if my dad had ever hit her or whatever, she would pour the hot chip fat on his face while he slept. You can't do that with an air fryer. Yes, chip pan fires were a menace, but the threat kept men in line. At the first sign of what we would now call incel leanings or violence, they could swiftly be disposed of, their fate a warning to other dudes not to try any funny business. In another universe, the campaign to demonise the chip pan never happened. The population were too smart and too faithful to the well-cooked spud to fall for it when expat German scientists working for McCain invented and pushed oven chips. The convenience of the bulky, static, deep-fat fryer was likewise rejected, and its air-based variant, in reality, rather like the vapes whose rise it coincided with, a clever form of oven, never even got off the ground. In that timeline, Brett Kavana died of third-degree burns at war school. Johnny Depp breathed his last fatty mouthful in a flat in Camden in 1994. Boris Johnson narrowly survived his own encounter with the Liberty Lard early in his career at the Times, but it rendered him too untelegenic for producers at the BBC, who turned instead to the likeable Lib Dem politician Charles Kennedy to fill a guest slot on their flagship panel quiz. Donald Trump offed himself in terror at the thought he'd caught AIDS from sleeping with Roy Cohn to advance his career, which has nothing to do with the hot stuff itself, but I thought you'd want to know. The point is that somewhere out there in the multiverse, there's a paradise timeline. And it smells of chip fat.